guys and welcome to a brand new Let's Play! Now, yep, as you can see from the title, my last Let's Play yesterday did kind of tell you something about my next Let's Play. Um, I did mention it obviously, my Let's Play yesterday of Where's Waldo for the NES, if you haven't seen it already, go watch it. It's a short video, don't worry you won't be missing much. Um, but it did give you a little bit of an insight, I did mention this game in it, so I thought, eh, why not do the Let's Play? Anyway, I am Matt Straff, and I welcome you to this. Oh yeah, Smurf Rescue, a game made 34 years ago in 1982 for the ColecoVision. Now, if you don't know what the ColecoVision is, the ColecoVision is, uh, it was an old video game console, uh, and it went up against pretty much the Intellivision, the Atari 2600, and a bunch of others back in the day. They don't, you know, back in the, back in like the 80s, I was born in the 90s, so I don't know why I keep saying back in the day. Um, but it was a lot what there's a, 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 a large, wide array of consoles for video games. Nowadays, we've got three competitors, obviously. Yeah, we've either got Wii U by Nintendo, the PS4 by St Sony, or the Xbox One by Microsoft. That was it. Uh, but back in the 80s, you have the Atari, the Intellivision, loads of Pong consoles, and the ColecoVision, amongst... A lot of others. Anyway, so, let's play this game. You play as Smurf. You have to save Smurfette from Gargamel's castle. Our energy is going down, as you can see. And we are going against evil fences that are trying to prevent us from getting in the way. This game looks... Well, for 1982, it actually looks quite good. For 1982, remember. Uh, however... This game is so bloody short. Anyway, so it's the directional buttons to move Smurf. Uh, down, you can duck. And you can press up to jump over things. Uh, you press up to jump once. Uh, and then you can sort of jump again. You can do a, quite a big jump. Anyway, watch out because everything kills you in one hit here. That includes those stalactite mic things at the bottom there. Yeah. that This hill will kill you. Uh, that ledge hill thing will also kill you. There we go. We have five lives, so we do have the lives to use. But watch up there. There you go. <laughs> like that, pretty much. Damn it, Smurf. How can a hill beat you? I don't get it. Anyway, here's another hill. You'll not beat it. Yeah, you'll not beat Smurf this time. The hill will be defeated. Aha! Now we're back to the evil fences. No! Damn you fences! Also, everyone would clear. Pyrrhus, we're like a we're like a racehorse here, just jumping over things, which means we're going to be euthanized at the end of the game. Right, we're in Gargamel's castle already. Final level. So, uh, yep, go through this screen. Uh, go through um, this this screen here. And there's Smurfette. And there's a skull. Jump on the skull, it kills you. Unless you jump next to the 300, and you jump here. And that's it. There you go. <laughs> no, seriously. That's it. That's the game. That is the game. Well, guys, uh, that's the game. I hope you've enjoyed Smurf Rescue for the ColecoVision. Yeah, seriously. That is the entirety of the game. But then again, back in 1982, that was kind of its thing. Short games, but it's an enjoyable-ish one. I wouldn't say it's the greatest game on the ColecoVision, but... It's... it's okay. I wouldn't say it's the best. Probably for 1982 it was an okay game. Nowadays, obviously, it hasn't aged well. Anyway, that's it for this Let's Play. I've been Mastrath. This has been Smurf Rescue, and I'll see you next time. See you then!